Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 11 of the mobile networks overview course uh, In the previous episode, uh, episode 10 um, I talked briefly about uh, call control protocols uh, As you remember, ISOP, PICC and SIP uh, but this episode and episode 11, uh, 12 I will uh, or maybe uh, 13 I will talk in detail about them okay um, let's uh, start with eyes up which is uh, very old in comparison to the others and also related to the uh, SS7 protocol suite um, you see uh, before going to this picture I, I wanna mm, tell you something about this uh, I always say to my students in all classes even uh, both for enterprise and in the university I say that always is, uh, look to the network from the uh, from the point of OSI model or TCP IP uh, protocol stack in this view you will you will uh, understand better and you will uh, find the concepts in a better way okay so you see that uh, in isa which uh, which is ss7 uh, which is based on SS, uh, ss7 protocol suite you see that M we have mtp1 mtp2 and mtp3 uh, which is uh, in comparison with osi model it means that in uh, mtp1 we have uh, physical and data link in mtp2 also mtp1 and mtp2 is M uh, physical and data link layer one and layer two but mtp3 is like um, ip you know uh, in net is uh, like network layer in osi model or in tcp ip and we have as we have something here um, between the network layer and eyes up uh, called sccp in many scenarios we have signaling connection control part uh, it has the uh, some supplementary uh, role for routing and uh, we will say that routing in telecom networks is based on signaling point code gt we will talk later global title and spc plus gt or new gt uh, SPC in the uh, can be defined in two terminology for the originating part means OPC originating point code and for the destination is DPC okay so uh, but in SIP we see that uh, instead of MTP 1 2 3 we have IP uh, and for transport protocol for and uh, physical network and then uh, data link and IP and for transport we can have SCTP, TCP or UDP and then we have SIP it is very simple and widely used now uh, especially in IMS networks for Volt or some uh, applications of VoIP okay so you see that here for example for for this ISAP scenario we have MTP 1, 2, 3 and uh, uh, here in most of the scenarios we have also SCCP because it uh, handles the routing so you see that the signaling link is coming from one MSC to another MSC maybe some person is calling here A number to one person here B number okay so we will see we have a um, with this call control protocol eyes up and this stack uh, we make this link up between t these two msc and then the subscriber can call each other and uh, based on uh, maybe it's it's based on ss7 it can also be based on sigtran okay no problem as you see here it can be physical mac ip sctp m3 ua m3 u user adoption part okay you, you see that maybe in some scenarios also eyes up 
can based on uh, Sigtran model instead of SS7 as you see here for example one MSC wants to communicate with GMSC here the media gateway is related to Huawei product Huawei products uh, is uh, this uh, in this case media gateway is uh, also playing the role of signaling gateway okay uh, because it is converting IP to TDM and all, uh, instead, also in, uh, in addition of signaling gateway it is also converting uh, the protocol we see that physical MAC IP SCTPM3 and this is converted this protocol stack from Sigtran you see that it is converted in media gateway to SS7 and by this a uh, call will generate mm, for your more uh, sorry uh, for uh, I have a I think I have oh sorry uh, I bring for you one scenario of SIP for your more understanding you see that here we will send for example this is MSC1 or subscriber A or this is MSCB we see that the type of message for your uh, for uh, more information we see that uh, mm, sorry for your more information or more understanding we see that we are sending initial address message later in SIP you will see that this is like invite in SIP okay and uh, this note for example here it, it can be transit or gateway msc uh, iem initial address message will send which carries the information about the uh, about the uh, call party calling and some other information we see that a continuity test successful will send then when it rings in the other side address complete message will send to the a party acm address complete message okay and then when the subscriber when the b party subscriber uh, answers a and m answer message sent to the a answer message So uh, each here conversation will uh, we have a conversation and then after the conversation uh, ended a release message will send from A or the party that want to release and a release complete will send back. Okay, uh, you see many messages here. Uh, we all have these. Uh, uh, similar of all these in SIP and I will show you later okay and uh, for the more information this is also uh, another point of view we see MTP1, MTP2, MTP3 we have a SCCP as I told to you and based on on the top of this SCCP we see that many lots of uh, protocols can be implemented on this uh, on this protocol we, you see that dtap dtap is a protocol uh, on in bssap sometimes between a uh, mobile subscriber and msc for sending some message we have bss map map cap for example these are all protocols we may discuss later based on request but here we are talking about eyes up that you see is like this uh, but as I told to you in the um, first uh, of this episode we also have BICC SIP we'll, uh, we'll go through SIP in this next episode episode 12 but for BICC you will see that uh, for example here we have a scenario two MSC server are connected together through BICC BICC is another call control protocol which means 
which is stand for bearer independent call control protocol you see that we have uh, IPSCTP BICC or IPSCTP MTRUA BICC we can uh, we can config this NC interface between two MSC based on these two option you will see, you see that this is uh, in Sigtran protocol the Sigtran system and it is based on IP and in comparison with uh, oh, sorry and in comparison with that uh, eyes up message that I show to you here let me bring it here we see that the message are um, almost same you see in eyes up here we have IEM also we have in BICC we have IEM initial address message connect forward bearer characteristics and available codex here we will send uh, the forward bearer characteristics and also codex available codex for example uh, msca says that i support amr2 what about you in apm uh, selected code codex will be announced and negotiation will done here codex negotiation it can be optional and it will send AP in APM uh, it will send the final uh, codec that is selected and also the tunnel information and uh, IP uh, IP information for sending the voice uh, packets through RTP okay and uh, it will also uh, confirm this and um, here for beer establishing the beer and address complete message like here ACM is sent to the originating MSC server and when the subscriber B answers an answer message is sent to the the, uh, the first MSC okay uh, so through this uh, um, short session I wanted to tell uh, some uh, brief overview about the call control protocols eyes up and BICC in the next session I will uh, go through the details of SIP and uh, some uh, basic scenarios and also some examples hope it was be uh, it would be useful and informative for you and see you next episode bye